Kelly. I go to the Inspiration Super Science Technology and Math. And well, okay, my starter project was a crawling microblog. And it basically just like um, follows light and the dispensers over here. Unfortunately, I had it in a, book, in a box for too long, so you know, it's not working that well right now. <laughs> um, my main project is a portable sun tracking solar panel with a wind back This thing right here. <laughs> so, when I first looked at the website, the guy from Instructables, I was just like, how am I supposed to build this? He, all he had bad quality pictures, and some really vague explanations. So all I had was a solar panel. So I started doing that with my mechanical drawings. It's based on the dimensions of this. And so I just started drawing the base, the U bracket, the rods, this. This I didn't even want to start with because this is the most um, scary part to do. And so after drawing all of that, I sent them to Kyle which I drew on a piece of wood for him to cut it up for me. And then when, while he was doing that, I started on my wooden frame, because the guy, he, all of this was just wood, but then we were thinking an easier way was just to take some piece of ferro rod, which is this, just drill it in through the sides right here, and then just have two like um, thin pieces of wood. So yeah, and then after that, Kyle brought up the wood, and then I started building the base. With the base, it was actually pretty tricky because when I had to drill the screws in the next side, it was all of this was just twisting and moving, and so we didn't know how to have like make a stable for it to hold up the solar panel. So Matt thought about putting pieces of wood like on the bottom, and that made it actually very very stable. So then I just started building and I put the hinges for the rods for this so I could hold it up. And then you see these numbers, they're just like from the angles that you can move. And then that's what this, the moving mechanism. And so I couldn't figure out whether like, what point would it make it move like for all of them to be touching. So instead I made three, so you could just move this. And then if you wanted to have a higher angle, you would go to the first one, lower angle of this one, and then just moves like, about the middle and so they told me this is like the most mechanical project we ever had because I actually haven't used any like Arduinos like any, everybody else. I just have this motor which I just wind up then I just place the gears together so they mesh and then the, actually the motor goes with like the time that the sun rotates and the whole this all of this rotates the solar panel and I actually like wind, winded it up like the day before and like let it sit overnight and it actually turned and made the work. And then, so I was basically done. And so to add some electrical part to it, I decided to bring in a switch and then connect that. And so then I could like control whether I want the solar panel to light up the LED lights or charge my battery. Actually, I could show you guys. Um, actually, this whole lamp for you guys would represent our sun. And then, so this would be here. And then I just turn the switch. And the LED light up, meaning there's actually a current going on. I don't know if you guys can see it, but yeah. And then if I switch it to the other side, then the battery will be charging. So yeah, and then it's like he moved away, like they actually like dim, meaning there's no current going through. I still haven't like had like a test outside, because you know what, it's really not fun, but like once there was, it was really funny, so we opened the window and it was actually working with the sun. So yeah. Okay, what was one, one big thing you learned in this whole program? One thing you'll remember forever. You really need to plan out what you want. You have to like draw everything to the single, the smallest detail. Like, you need to know what you're doing. First, you have to. If you're not good with the computers and you don't know how to use SketchUp, I'm mostly hands-in, so I like drew everything out, and so that actually helped me a lot. Any questions? Um, 
So if that were to be developed and refined, how, what would you do, say, for commercialization? If you wanted to sell that, what kind of improvements would you make? <laughs> well, I guess how come this, the sliding mechanism, I would definitely work on this better and have it more, like, you know, easier to do than just having to always screw it off and everything. And then become more complicated with the angles and, you know, have, like, charts set up and everything because it's actually, I've looked online and it's very, like, complicated to do the sun angles, have it perfectly according to the sun and, with the motor, I guess. <laughs> else? After blue stamp, uh, when you bring it home, do you think you might set it up in your room and then make your room self-sufficient? <laughs> light your room from the sun from outside? Well, actually, I was thinking, because I'm about to charge this battery, I have a little baby cousin, so, you know, maybe buy him a those motorized car that you need this as a battery. And then, you know, and we were thinking about buying, like, a screen of, like, all of these LED lights. So, like, I could, like, um, like, hook it up to, like, say what I wanted to say with LEDs and charge it with that. Yeah, that's what I would do. Question in the back. Yeah. Uh, I was just wondering if you had a way of adjusting the speed of the motor so that it would track the sun more accurately or not. The motor? No. I just wind it up and it just goes at like, the same time. As it rotates at the same time. Anybody else? No? Thank you.